Hi everyone, welcome to another Pat's Adventure Life video. It's early March. It's been a while since we've been out on the tracks. Uh, there's been lots going on. We've done house renovations and we've moved. Uh, so it's been a couple of months of just busyness with other stuff. We're hoping to go to Lost City in Nunes and go and see the Nunes campsite. So come along and see what we get up to. We're just at Zigzag Railway. They reckon they'll reopen this this year, 2001, uh, at the end of this year. Used to be running a couple of years ago. That's Zigzag Railway Station. Hopefully at the end of this year it'll be a reopening. So we're just here, Zigzag Railway, hoping to go up here and go down to Lost City and then to, no we're not going to go to Glowworm Tunnel, keep going this way to Noon's Campground. Train station where we used to catch the steam engine and the diesel. Closed. Sands, so this is where they're mining for sand. Yeah, that's nothing new, I haven't seen this before. That's where they're mining the dirt sand. Not sure if we can see the the trucks out there. Got a bulldozer, a digger. This is where the crazy four-wheel drives come. Look at that. Last time. 
This is it here. But so we've taken a turn. Hopefully, it's the right one towards the lost city. There's no signs to say where we were, which way we had to go. Guessing we go not sure if we go there or in here. Oh. The map shows that we've got to keep going on that road. It's very open around here. Lots of tracks going everywhere. Looks like we're still going the right way. It's getting pretty holy and there's a big massive big yeah which um which muddy puddle which I'm not gonna go into. No. As you can see, there's quite a few muddy bogs. Not going to go through this. Might come through here. That looks like the way to go and just go through here. I reckon this is the way to go. Come through there and through here. Just don't want to get too much mud on the car because uh, that rubber boot that I got replaced has opened up again, there's grease out. What's with these CV boots? They're a pest. So as you can see, there's a bit of grease, quite a, oh. yeah, there's a bit of grease. So they have been replaced. They are Toyota boots, but looks like it's just the seal I was told that there are hard to, it's hard to get these back on. Uh, that's why we hung on as long as we could before we replaced them. It's just grease coming out of it. So that is pretty hard track. This looks like the easy track here on the left. But where I'm sitting, from where I'm sitting, I'm just going to come this way. Not as muddy as I thought it'd be, which is good. <laughs> now we're, we're a bit off, we're a bit off the track. Uh, I think we have to go back here. This is the track here. Is it? Mm -hmm. So this is not marked at all okay looks 
what we go this way. Just trying to follow the heme up to see if we can get to where we want to go. found out we were going down the wrong track. We decided to follow this guy as he was going to the lost city. Not easy to find because there's no, there's yeah. tracks everywhere. Mm -hmm. That's why it's called the lost city. <laughs> yeah, you're kind of right there Kaiko. Hard to find. Steep hill. Do you have it in low range or high? I've got range? it in low. No locker yet. I don't think we need locker. Get stuck, put it up, put the locker on. Now this is a spot to get the drone up. Probably the most off road we've ever gone. Uh, this is like the hardest, yeah. Most, most, this is like the most technical. Where's he gone? Through here? Yep. Uh, and then he's gone to the right. Okay. Let's just take gotta, it easy. Just gotta go slow. Yeah, go to the right. Yep. Did he stay to the right again? Yes. He did. No way we'd find this place. No. How are we going to make our way back? This might be, there's a lot of cars here. Oh yeah. Last time the off-road things we've done haven't really been that off-road but now you won't see like normal cars they'll be full So we're at the lost city That was that was pretty full on That was like the most technical driving I've had to do yet We've only been doing it for a couple of years, about two years You can see the trees are still recovering after the bushfires last year.
just going down the path to some rocks that we can see. This path leads us down. I don't think it goes any further than that. As you can see, the, the fires have really opened it up. You can see everything. That's the boys down there, Sebi, Malachi and Lise. It was pretty cold driving here, it was, went down to 14 degrees, it was about 22, 23 in Sydney, but it's quite nice, it's quite good that it's a little bit cloudy, it's not too hot. Try to find the highest point. We're just gonna go back up the hill and just have some lunch. The car park's up there. Quite an amazing spot. These rocks are pretty cool. See lots lots of tracks, there's tracks up there. More tracks there, that's a big one up there. Hi Seb. Hi. Pretty cool little spot. Just walk up back up to the car park. Not a steep walk down there. So that's where we were. The boys are coming up. But it's worth it. <clears throat> Very sharp rocks. Just gonna take it slow, unlike Sebi. Ah. <sighs> Where's your out? Time for lunch now. <sighs> Get some energy back. Just having a game of you know. Oh no. Oh no, Mama's winning. Come on, guys. Uh, look at me, I've got heaps of cards. No good. Oh, what? That doesn't help. Who's turn? Oh. oh wait, double reverse it. No. So we just had lunch, just making our way back.
That was steep, but did it easy and just low range. Stuck. <laughs> That's insane. You reckon he got 35s or 40s? Look at 35s. The Jeep's doing well. Jeep's doing very well. We're just airing up here. We've just finished the track. About to go back to drive back to Sydney. And I love having the boys help with, uh, they love helping with taking videos. Uh, Malachi here with airing up. It's good that they can help and yeah, it's good experience for them as well.